I am Dr. Kailas Prasad, Professor Emeritus in the University of Saskatchewan, College of Medicine, Saskatoon, Canada. Uh, I am going to talk about a unique area, what is called advanced glycation end products and its receptors. It is now actually very common that the people say the S rays is a biomarker for the disease. So my talk will be that S rays is not an universal biomarker for the diseases including cardiovascular disease. So advanced glycation end product is a combination of reducing sugars with the proteins, lipids, and amino acids. And that gives to the compound called irreversible end products, advanced glycation end products. In short, it is AGES. Age, age actually combines with the cell receptor called RAISE to produce the adverse effects and can produce or have been implicated in the pathophysiology of various diseases. Besides the age rays receptor, which is present in the cell membrane, there are other receptors, which are soluble receptors. They circulate in the blood. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> So when age combines with the soluble receptors, it does not produce the bad effects or it, it is a protective agent which will protect the bad effects of age and age combination. So I, I have proposed that it is not the S rays which is a universal biomarker. Universal biomarker is the one which can be a marker for all diseases, not only certain diseases. For example, S rays is low in numerous diseases, like say heart failure, myocardial infarction, hypertension, diabetes, no sorry, not diabetes, uh, and other diseases. But in some diseases like say diabetes and the chronic kidney disease, S rays are elevated. This means S rays cannot be an universal biomarker. So I have proposed that the ratio of A's and S rays should be taken as universal biomarker. So therefore, we found that let us see what are the evidence that age over S rays will be the universal biomarker. So we did some study in the myocardial infarction and we found that although the S rays is low, but age over S rays is very high. Similarly, in other patients like say hypertension, the S rays is low, age is high. So the ratio of age over S rays is high. In hyperthyroidism, we found that the age over S rays ratio is very high. So many other diseases where the S rays is low, age is high, so the ratio is high. So that's good, this is a biomarker. But what about actually the diabetes? where the S rays is high, and also the chronic kidney disease where S rays is high. In that also we studied the ratio of age over S rays, and we found that the age over S rays, both in type one and type two diabetes, and renal end stage disease, it was high. So now you can see that age over S rays is not only high actually in the heart disease where the S rays is low, 
but also in the diabetes and end stage renal disease where the S ratio is high, the age over S ratio is high in both cases. So age over S ratio is an universal biomarker.